We are Al. Thank you for coming in, Al. We heard that you wanted to speak to us again. What is it that you would like to know? Welcome. Um, Thank you. Thank you for coming. Uh, Sheer has a question. Sheer. We are familiar with Sheer. Continue. Sheer, we can't hear you. I know he's not frightened to speak with us. We have spoken before. Yeah, no, he's not. He, I think he's just having technical difficulties. Ah, technology. Your yes. planet has to be upgraded. Um, did somebody in the room with Jim have any questions? Sure. There's always updates, and certainly we like to hear about them as the year progresses. How do you see the energies? One question I always had is, who is Donald Trump? Who really is he? I understand there was contracts he has made with other species. I don't know how true this is. Um, religious factors. Can you give us an update on that or just simply an update of the energies as we approach mid and end of 2016 for the shift for the uh, surface? Anything you'd like? Thank you. The answer is not easy who people are because they are an amalgamation sometimes of different energies and different thought processes created by your planet through many centuries of thinking and development. He is one that has risen from your planet and it's connected to many sources of energy. His prosperity levels are great, but that is not where he is most connected. He is connected to energies that are malleable. Do you understand what malleable is? Yes. His energy can be changed. He can move through different thought processes and change his energies. This makes him at one point in his past, a shape changer. Yes, this is things I've heard as well. I cannot tell you who he is right now okay. because he does not maintain one aspect of his being at all times. Does that make sense? Yes, it does, and it just brings up to the idea that he's done contracts with AIs, not necessarily <laughs> positive or negative, but is in contract with them. I don't know what that really means. Contracts, intelligence. contracts are connections. He has many different connections. I will not say that they are treaties or they are contracts, but they are connections that are given oaths by. Therefore, he has these connections and will abide by them. Would you say that um, he's, well, everything serves a purpose. Is he serving a specific purpose there yes. and that he's the wild card? He is serving the purpose to give people a different outlook from different angles and perspectives of all of humanity. He will show his kind side. He will show his abrasive side. He will show all angles of his personality because it is connected to all angles of different perspectives of spiritual beings. So he's neither benevolent or malevolent. There's a neutrality to him to teach the world as it changes, to bring more awareness in. He is a neutral being at this time, mm -hmm. but that does not mean that he will remain neutral. Thank you. I, I am, a, would beware that he has too many connections to remain neutral. 
would appear that things change as the year progresses. At least that's what I feel. He is deceived, but yet can see clearly. Mm. Yes, because I, I have a, uh, I remember seeing him years ago, and he and he seemed quite different than how he acts and is right now. His bravery in his speech is coming from another source. Thank you for that, yes. Yeah. I can see. I can see that. But let's uh, speak about something worthwhile. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I know it doesn't... Because that his demise or rise is not anything that we are interested in. Yeah. He will not make that big of a difference as yeah. people may think. All right, can you speak more about then the, the energies um, that are coming? And we are working day and night to, to make them less. However, it is inevitable that your economy will implode. Now, there are going to be signs ahead of time to let you know when this event will happen because, of course, it will not just implode without a sequence. Do you understand that? It's like dominoes falling. It will take some time for all the dominoes to fall. They do not fall all at once. Therefore, you will see signs outwards of several months, maybe just a few of just a few months ahead of the event that it's going to happen and this is when you must prepare yourselves. Now, we are working day and night with many different species and many different alliances to calm this process down so that it might not be the horrific event that we originally saw. We see that God, in his beautiful glory, is wanting it not to be such a bad thing. But do not believe the cabal saying that they are now friendly. They are only saying this so that they will, you will trust them to restart the economy after it has collapsed. They want to be the ones you come to. And if they tell you now that they are in, in a good and positive thought process, you will be more apt to trust them, but do not. They will reinstate the same demise on the planet that it once was, because this is what they know the best. They know monetary, and they know how to control it better than anything else, and so their plans will not change. They will want to reinstate the same things. Now, others will want to do something different, something more advanced, something more creative, these are the things you must pay attention to because your world will benefit from a change from monetary slavery. What is it? Can you be more specific about the things to support? I have ideas like, is it helpful to contribute to shore up food banks in preparation for this event? to talk to our politicians about disaster planning, about the Venus Project, where they're already showing us a vision of living without money. Yes. Many of these things that you are mentioning, the government will not recognize because, of course, they're not going to let you know that they know that this is going to happen. So any preparation of this with the government will be futile because they will shrug their shoulders and say, we don't know what you're talking about. Now, these other things that you talk about are potential help. Building your own uh, societies that will gather together will be of help. That is something that you must do on your own. We cannot tell you what to do and how to do it, but we can tell you that it will be smart to be a community. Mm -hmm. sure. It will be smart to gather together. When you first see these signs coming, this is when you must gather together, 
But before that, you must discuss it and must be aware that when you see these first signs, what you are going to do. Organization is a very big thing with humanity. You must organize yourself together in love and community. Now, I am not saying be afraid. There is not anything to be afraid of. Fear only makes the situation worse. If you are afraid, then you will fail. If you are confident that you will make it through, then you will succeed. I know that you cannot help but feel some fear at some times, but if you let that dominate, you will fail. I am just giving you the facts. You must come from a position of love and confidence and of God attention, and then you will succeed. But as I said, we are trying to bring this down into a very small event, maybe only one or two weeks. Right now it is much greater. If it were hap to happen at this moment, it would be a much greater event. However, it is coming down little by little, 7% in the last few months. Al, thank you so much for this information. It's important. Obviously, the change has been happening certainly much quicker since 2012. Yes. However, things are increasing, and it's dribble, dribble. Can you, if possible, give the probability of the one thing, that one domino, domino that will fall you know, more than that has happened, that will really incite? Well, I cannot give it to you directly because there is one of three dominoes that could fall first. Tell us about it. There could be one of three instances that could happen first, but I do not, I am not at liberty to tell you what they are, but you will, you will know when you, you will know when the first domino falls. That's all I can tell. And when this, when the first domino falls, we will also be alerted. And actually, we know ahead of time already. But we will be alerting others, those that will be those that are to be the leaders. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. But to tell you that would also be to alert your governments. And change the future. Sure. Exactly. And a try. <laughs> um, some have speculated that if, if Trump were to win, it would accelerate uh, that. He could accelerate it, yes. We are not saying that he will win or lose. But the effect of this election will have an outcome on this, yes. Huge, huge. It will yes. have an effect on the outcome of the economy. The cabal can only hold the... the economy up for so long, even though they are the wealthiest people on earth, even they cannot bail out the banks once again, because they are overextended. Okay, thank you. Um, I think Lainey had a question. Hello, Al. Yes, hello. Hi there. Um, yeah. Originally, um, when the um, crash was meant to be in 2027, um, I think the original plans that first contact was going to happen. Is first contact still going to happen before the economy crash, or yes. do you know anything? The timeline at that period when we announced that was very different than it is now. Although your timeline will continue, it has changed due to the interactions of different species, different people with um, alternative ideas and different belief systems coming into large awarenesses. Also, your terrorist groups have changed the future quite substantially. Okay, so, so is that... Um, do you know when the possibility of first contact is going to be? Things are now coming back into alignment. 
but right now things are so far out of alignment with what they were before it is hard to say anything and be truthful about it I would assume now that first contact will be within 10 years of course as we, it always has but it has extended out a little farther due to the terrorist element okay thank you Sean Uh, hello, uh, L. Uh, I just wanted to say, God be with you, and uh, I love you. Um, and God be with you as well. Thank you. Um, my question is that um, I actually have two. Uh, my first one is um, when all of this, you know, economic crash hits. I'm curious to know um, what would be the effect on like smaller countries that like maybe outside like you know the big US, you know Russia, Europe, you know what's going to be the effect on the smaller ones? The smaller countries will not be affected directly at first because they are already poor and already are facing their poverty. However, they will soon realize within the five-week period that nothing is coming into the countries, no exports or imports. And so, therefore, it will be even more difficult for them. But they are not going to be as affected as much as those, as those who are used to having a great deal of prosperity. And those will the, be the ones that will be most affected, are the ones with the most prosperity. Uh, and I also have uh, another quest question. Um, what, like, is there a big probability that, like, when uh, the economic system, you know, comes down, that some of the bigger countries will try and uh, integrate the smaller countries into their country? There will be many things happen at this time. There will be land grabbing, yes. There will be all kinds of uh, negative activities. But with the oncoming information, they will realize that, there's some, that the need to change in a very significant way is upon them and that this, these negative actions will only separate them and not unite them. Unity is the only way your planet will survive this great event. And so they must come together. And I believe that there are some politicians already ready to come together for this particular event. But they will not say that it even is existing yet because it would cause panic or cause people to look at them and find them at fault, even though they are right. The car carefulness and caution that your politicians use when handling their people is overwhelmingly sad. It is obvious that the people cannot handle the truth without becoming panicked. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, sorry. sorry. I, I just wanted to say uh, thank you for answering my questions. God be with you. And I just want to say thank you so much for the work that you do for, you know, humanity. Uh, you know, you do so much for us. And I just want to say thank you. You are welcome. God be with you. I, I just want to clarify something in my head. Did you say that the crash would happen before first contact? I did not say if it would happen before or after. Oh, okay. All right. I, I thought so. I it is thought maybe because I missed it. of the way things are happening at this juncture that it cannot be said. They will be fairly close together. 
Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, Guru then has several questions. Hello, L. Hello. I'm trying to get to the where the questions were. Okay, we have a question from member Shear. Says question to L. I was told by the Elohim that he was Amos from the book of Amos, and in the book of Amos prophecy, he predicted the end of the world and the beginning of the new one. Is it the case with the economy collapse? So he wants to know what his connection to Amos and if there is interesting prophetic things there. There are many pro prophetic things on your planet in many books and documents. And yes, if you would like to read it that way, yes, Amos. But do not be surprised if it is not what you think it is or it does not happen the way you think it will happen. Thousands of years ago, the timeline was different than it is now. So therefore, the prophecy may still come, but in a different way than you might imagine. Okay, wonderful. And then I have a couple of uh, other member um, questions. Uh, member Ashley would like to know um, if you have any messages from Spirit for her or, or, or any information from your perspective, uh, anything for uh, Ashley in particular. Although I am a spiritual being, I am not one to bring that kind of messages to mankind. The angels, God, and other beings are here to, to manifest that kind of service. I am here for specific purposes, for the timeline, for the financial, for building of certain things. So my personal messages to each individual do not exist in that way. So therefore, I cannot give you the personal message since I am not involved in the personal. All right. Thank you, Al. Thank you for giving me that information so that we all know. Go ahead, Sabrina. Uh, Sabrina. I, okay. I just had one last question on this matter. Um, for first contact, are there specific things that have to fall into place um, in order for that to happen? Or yes. is it... Okay. Yes. Specific things must happen and are happening. The smaller of the significant things are already happened. The greater of the significant things will be coming. There are a few more smaller things that must happen and they are in process at this time. Are you speaking about the, the inner earth people as part of that? They are only a very small part of that interaction, yes. There are more significant things okay. that are still small, but still significant. Yes, there will be certain areas on, and certain populations and certain different Earth events that will cause mm -hmm. the, the downfall of certain areas mm -hmm. that are very small. Loss of life from earthquakes and volcanoes that seem small but are very significant because of their strategic position and because of their belief systems. These are happening already. Are you by any chance talking about the mass migration to Antarctica, the cabal trying to hide there and how that will all play out? They can't hide, you just can't. You, there is no way for them to hide. And their very, the very thought that they could hide is deceiving themselves. This is, so what happened after World War II, they're just not going to be able to do again? No. No. The cabal is frantic. Through Brazil, it's horrible. The cabal is frantic. 
with the fact that they know that the collapse is coming and they are not prepared completely for it yet. Thank you. This is their worst fear. Okay, thank you. Um, does anybody else have any more questions? I will go then. I've already given enough information for this time span, as you call it. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming the in. The distance between now and the collapse is still somewhat substantial in human terms, but not in our terms at all. Thank, Thank you. you. Can you give us a blessing before you go? We can do such things, yes. Thank For you. We do love the earth and are sympathetic to your needs and causes. Alo yashun shim piyam piyacham ja ole yaka anu nand adunai kasho shin te apachom voshi sholu. Shalom ya cha cha piya utin shu piyin shin tiye ka pore ato. May the grace of God be with you. May he strengthen up, uplift you in these times of disaster and of prosperity. May he also bring your understanding into alignment with his. May his light shine as bright in you as it once did in centuries past. Amen. And giving love to you. Amen. Thank you.